Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. Four of Swords, Libra Energy at the foundation. Okay, what do we have at the sacral? I feel like you guys, it's like an energy of de-stressing. I'm getting this sort of energy. It's just very relaxed. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius at the sacral. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of people have something to say about you right now, Libra. A lot of jealous people. There's a lot of gossip and lies and slander going on here about what it is you're doing creatively, what it is you're passionate about these days, what it is you're moving very quickly towards Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy again at the solar plexus. This is you completely standing in your power. Full-on confidence. You don't care what anybody thinks about anything that you're doing. This is the direction you're going to go, and you don't care who supports you and who doesn't. You're starting to see things now from a higher perspective that, any does, that anybody who doesn't support you is no longer going to have any sort of place in your life moving forward. Eight of Cups at the heart. Pisces energy goes along perfectly with what I'm saying here. It's like I'm narrating the cards as they're coming out right before they come out. This is you just moving on, abandoning hope with all these individuals, these situations, whatever this is here. It's just an overall energy of just not caring anymore about what anybody thinks. That's really what I'm picking up here. This is somebody who sees things from a macro perspective. This is somebody who's functioning out of their north node position in life. They know exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and this is what they're doing. And they also understand that dealing with this gossip, lies, and slander, page of swords energy at the sacral, just comes with the territory. It's all a part of it. It's like you're comfortable inside this energy, Libra. Five of Wands at the throat. Leo Energy. You've pissed off a lot of people, Libra. These people don't understand how they weren't able to keep you stuck anymore. It's like some sort of cycle you were stuck in with individuals. It could be friends or family, however it shows up for you. Of individuals just trying to keep you in these like cycles of toxicity. right? They're all like extensions of the devil. And they show up in people around you to keep you from stepping into your purpose. So essentially, the devil is just using them because they're low vibrational humans, right? That allow themselves to be a vessel for this demonic attachment. It's like since you've moved on from them, you're like public enemy number one now. Imagine that, huh? This sun card just shot out and like hit this little table that I have over here with all my tarot cards on it, which is telling me that, well, this is all about your happiness, right? Complete success. This is all about material happiness as well at the third eye. And at this third eye position, this is telling me that this is all come to you by way of divine guidance. You followed your intuition you followed the guidance you've been getting. This allowed you to step into your purpose. But because that sun hit this table next to me, it almost came out in a, a violent manner. It's like people are really pissed off that you're getting this, right? That you've stepped into this power position in your life. They hate to see you win. They hate to see you win, Libra. Which is why your public enemy, numero uno, what do we have at the crown? King of Cups, and that's you. And that's what you're coming up as. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Just a very wise, caring, balanced individual. You don't even care. You see how these individuals that act out like this are just completely beneath you. And I don't even think that it's that you look at them like they're beneath you. They just are. 
right? It's like this is the confirmation you get from your spirit guides. Your spirit guides are telling you that they're beneath you. But I feel you're much more humble than that, right? You just don't even, I don't know, I just don't even think it affects you. You don't even care. But for some reason, they want you to know that there is a force in the universe that doesn't want to see you win, Libra. That's really what it comes down to. What do we have at the foundation? You know, and usually this is going to be people in your life that weren't able to up-level, right? People that are jealous that you were able to do this, you were able to get it out of the mud, right? Page of Swords again. So we have Page of Swords twice now. Bootis. These energies are just littered with constant bad luck. But it's all karma. All these individuals ever do is talk about what they're going to do, but there's no action behind any of it. These individuals are very spiritually weak. Very immature energies here. These individuals, Libra, as soon as they wake up, they're on their phones looking at you, browsing your social media. Double page of swords in this reading. This is a heavy, heavy stalking energy. A lot of gossip here. And I feel like this is just you. You're just meditating, praying, maybe going to the spa, right? Maybe getting like a pedicure, manicure, male or female, doesn't matter. Nothing wrong with a, a male getting a manicure if he wants, you know, to each his own. It's just an energy of you loving on yourself, taking care of yourself as well, especially with this King of Cups at the crown. What do we have at the sacral? Sacral. Too many cards. There's a bit of like a flustered energy in this reading, Libra. I feel like that's their energy. What do we have at the... King of Cups, Alistair, at the sacral. a very manipulative energy here very volatile very emotionally abusive individuals you've been dealing with here these people really did a number on you i feel these people held you back for a long time these are the types of friends who always have something negative to say about you right backhanded comments always trying to knock you down keep you in line kind of energy, right? So you wouldn't become too strong. What do we have at the... What do we have at the solar plexus? Five of cups, and here they are, riding around on their narcissistic cords of attachment, right? They got the peg there. They could be smoker. They got a smoke in that hand over there. Could have a hairy chest, wispy hair, male or female, doesn't matter. Mustache too, male or female, again, doesn't matter. But they've got this peg here, right? They jam that into your heart, create a, a little hole, pierce a little spot so they can stick those narcissistic cords of attachment snakes into you, right? Suck back that high vibrational energy, right? This is what nourishes them. Now that you're gone, they've run out of supply. They have no one they can suck back that high vibrational energy from. Now they're feeling a sense of loss, regret. They're feeling very abandoned and unloved by you. They don't know what they're going to do now. And they're also going to be in a lot of trouble with the devil. What do we have at the heart? So we have Knight of Swords, Harris, Criticism from the Occult Tarot. And then we have Mihail, the Sun, Restoration of Life, Leo Energy from the Angel Tarot. So, Wow. This reading is um, very clear-cut, and I feel very tapped in in this reading. We have two Knight of Swords here. I was just saying how they were criticizing you, right? Always talking down to you. Right there, it says criticism. So this is actually Knight of Swords in reverse energy. It's all about competition with these individuals. Very violent, deliberate, cruel 
energies. And this was all tactics to keep you stuck because they always saw the shine that you had in you, right? They made that shine difficult for you to see by projecting self-doubt onto you. You eventually started to see your way around this by listening to your intuition and allowing the divine to guide you. And then you step into this energy. Sun, restoration of life. So we have two suns here. So further confirmation here. You're right exactly where you're supposed to be here. Okay, so you're now stepping into this sun energy, which is again all about material happiness. Everything around what these individuals were doing has been illuminated to you. Everything moving forward just feels very positive. There's a lot of vitality and warmth around your energy. What do we have at the throat from the angel tarot, please? The magician at the throat. This is just you turning all of your dreams, all of your visions into reality. The generous God, spiritual wisdom and magic. Spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. What do we have at the third eye? King of Pentacles, and there it is. The adored God. Obedience causes harmony and peace, calms anger in anyone. That's the energy you're now stepping into is that King of Pentacles energy. It's a leader. Very responsible, secure, controlled energy. Very powerful, and make no mistake, very, very abundant. What do we have at the crown, please? What do we have at the crown? <sighs> Strength. Hakamiya. Leo energy again. Leo energy, Leo energy, Leo energy. So we have two suns and a strength card. Loyalty. Delivery from those who seek to oppress brings victory. And there's all your spirit guides holding you up. The raising God, right? You're like, oh my God, I can't believe. Is this all for me? Do I finally get happiness in my life? Can I finally bring all my manifestations to material reality? And all your spirit guides are like, yes, you were always able to do this, but you couldn't see it because you had these lower demonic demons sucking you of all your high vibrational energy and you couldn't see your worth. That's really all it comes down to. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations. Take care.